This program is brought to you by the Volusia County Metropolitan Planning Organization and is funded by a grant from the Florida Department of Transportation's Safe Routes to School program. Some of your friends, and maybe you, get to walk or ride your bike to school every morning and then walk or ride your bike home every afternoon. If you're one of the responsible students who gets to travel to school without an adult, there are some important things you need to know about how to stay safe on the road, the sidewalk, and even in the school parking lot. Be careful, pay attention, and obey the rules for bicycle and pedestrian safety. Before you leave your home, check each part of your bicycle for broken or rusty parts. Broken parts can make your bicycle dangerous to ride and could hurt you or the people around you. Check the tires to make sure they have enough air and make sure the chains and spokes are all working and not rusty. Check the pedals, seat, and the body of the bike to make sure everything is secure. Check your brakes to make sure they're tight and working so you can stop quickly if you need to. When you know your bike is in good working order, you can safely leave your home and head off to school. If you own a bicycle and you're going to ride it to school, it's important that the police have information about your bike. Every bike has a serial number that is special and unique. Have your bike's serial number registered with the police, so if your bike is ever stolen, the police have a better chance of finding it. One way to protect your bike from the weather and thieves is to always bring your bike inside your garage or inside your house at the end of the day. If you leave your bike outside, it may be damaged by sun and rain. Leaving it out makes it easy for someone to take it away without you knowing about it. When you ride your bike on errands or to school, use a good lock, such as a U-lock or sturdy chain and padlock to fasten your bike to a bike rack. One of the most important things you should put on before you ride your bike is a helmet. Your helmet should always fit you snugly and never be too big or too small. Make sure when you get a new helmet that an adult helps you adjust the straps so the helmet fits on your head. It should not be too far forward or too far back, but flat on the top of your head. Adjust the side straps and the one under your chin. If your helmet fits correctly, it should not move more than one inch forward or backward on your head, and you should not be able to fit more than one finger under the straps. Practice buckling and unbuckling the straps so you know how to use your helmet, and always put your helmet on before you get on your bike. A helmet might save your life if you have an accident while you're riding your bike. Check your helmet for an official label from the Consumer Product Safety Commission, or CPSC, that means your helmet is safe to use. Sometimes people driving cars cannot see you when you're walking on the sidewalk or riding your bike. One way to make sure that you can be seen easily from the street is to wear bright and colorful clothing. Wear a bright colored jacket over your school clothes or wear a bright colored shirt to make sure you stand out while you're on your bike or while you're walking. Your bike helmet should be a bright color as well. You can also add reflectors to your bike, your shoes, your clothes, or your bike helmet. Before the school year starts, plan out your path to school with an adult. Find the safest path. Learn how the cars in that area move so you know what to expect. Pay attention to how many streets you need to cross to get to school safely, and always try to cross where there's a crossing guard or traffic signal. Practice your path with an adult so when the first day of school comes, you know where you're going and you feel safe when you travel the path alone or with your friends. You might not know that some of the things you're doing while you're riding your bike are actually unsafe. For example, you should never wear headphones or listen to music while you're riding your bike. If you cover your ears, you might not hear a car honking or someone yelling for you to stop, which could get you or someone else hurt. As a bike rider, you have to obey all the same traffic laws that cars do, and that includes stopping at red lights, stop signs, and checking in all directions before you cross a busy intersection. Also, you should always ride your bike on the right side of the road, just like cars drive on the right side of the street. 
Never let anyone ride on the handlebars of your bicycle. It makes the front of your bike too heavy and you could both fall off and get hurt. Always keep at least one hand on your handlebars at all times. If you need to signal to change lanes or turn, make the signal with one hand and arm only and keep the other hand on your handlebars. Never ride without any hands no matter how good you think your balance is. Also, never hold anything in your hands when you're riding your bicycle. Put all your extra items in a book bag. If you're going to ride your bike when it starts to get dark, you have to have reflectors attached to your bike or your clothing that will shine brightly when the headlights of a car or any other light gets near you. When riding at night, Florida state law requires an electronic or battery operated white light in the front and a red light in the back of your bicycle. In case of danger in the roadway, you need to be able to stop your bike quickly. Make sure your bicycle has working brakes before you leave the house. You should be able to stop your bike without creating more danger to yourself or to other riders or walkers around you. You might also need to stop quickly if you see a sign, symbol, or signal in your path that means stop. Some of the most common stop symbols are red stop signs that say stop, a stop bar painted on the street next to a stop sign, red lights called traffic signals that both you and cars should pay attention to, and school crossing guards and police officers who will let you know when to stop. Another action you might want to take if you see an object in the road is dodging. Dodging allows you to avoid the object without weaving or falling over. When you see an obstacle in your path, quickly turn or snap your handlebars left, then right. Try not to hit the obstacle with the front tire, which can cause you to fall. Keep the bicycle going in a straight line. It's okay if the back tire runs over the obstacle. Stay alert for other dangers in your path. If you're riding your bike on a busy street and you need to turn, you should use hand signals to let the cars know which way you're turning. This is very important because if the cars know you're turning, they will be more careful driving around you. If you're turning left, stop at the corner near a stop sign and lift your left arm out straight to the side. That means you're turning left. Look left, look right, look left again, and then look behind you to make sure your path is safe and clear. If you're turning right, lift your right arm out straight, look both ways and behind you to make sure your path is clear. You can also use your left arm to signal for a right turn by lifting your arm out and straight up at the elbow. To signal that you're stopping or slowing down, lift your left arm slightly pointed towards the ground. Only put your arm back down when you're sure the cars around you have seen your signal. If there are other people on the roadway or sidewalk with you, it might be helpful to say that you're turning out loud. Before you make your turn and while you're doing your hand signals, say turning left or turning right, and that will let people around you know where you're going so they can stay out of your way. If you come up from behind someone, be sure to let them know that you're there before you pass them by saying, passing on your left. Some bicyclists use a bell or horn attached to their handlebars to warn people they are about to pass. One of the most important times to stop and look both ways is when you're leaving your house and getting onto the main road or sidewalk. Always look both ways when you get to the end of your driveway. Check for cars to the left, then right, then left again. When your path is clear, you can ride your bike forward onto the street or sidewalk. When you're riding or walking and you get to an intersection, there might be objects blocking your view of the street. Your view might be blocked by a tree, a bush, a parked car, or another visual barrier that will make the road hard to see. Always ride your bike or walk close to the edge of the visual barrier, but not past it. Stay back from the street and just lean out enough to be able to see if it's safe to cross. When the way is clear, cross the street quickly. This is the safest way to check for oncoming traffic. Your school probably has some rules for bicyclists. You should learn what they are. Often, schools try to separate different kinds of traffic. Most schools want you to walk your bike to the bike rack. 
Your school rules probably say that after you park your bike, you should go to the playground or to your classroom. Be very careful when you're taking your bike to the bike racks or walking near the parking lot or bus lanes to get to your class. Parents driving cars might not see you, so always look both ways before you cross a road or before you get out of your parents' car in the drop-off lane. You should be especially careful when you're getting off a bus or crossing in front of a bus. The bus driver is very high off the ground and can't see you if you're too close to the front of the bus. Make sure you walk or ride your bike at least 10 feet in front of the bus so the driver can see you clearly. 10 feet is like taking five giant steps, so make sure you know how far away from the bus you need to be. The bus can also block your view of the road. Make sure you ride to the edge of the bus barrier and lean forward to check for cars. Look left, then right, then left again to make sure your path is clear before you cross in front of the bus and into the street. When you get to an intersection or road that you need to cross on your bike, or when you're walking, it's very important to stop and look before crossing. Waiting for your turn to cross the street might take a few minutes, but it's better to wait and be safe than to be impatient and cross when there might be danger in the road. Always look left, look right, look to the street behind you, and sweep your eyes forward to make sure the road is clear. Only walk when your path is clear and when the crosswalk lights tell you to walk. Some crosswalk lights will have a white symbol of a person walking, which means you can start walking. Or the lights will show a blinking red hand, which means continue walking if you've started, but do not start walking if you're not already in the street. Numbers to the right of the blinking red hand are the number of seconds left to safely cross the street. The numbers will count down to zero. A solid red hand beside the zero means stop and wait. The best way to know that the drivers on the road can see you is to communicate with them. Wave at the driver so they know you're there, and if they wave back, you know they saw you. Also, look into their eyes for a few seconds. Eye contact means you both see each other and can signal who will go first on the road. If the windows are too dark or the driver is wearing sunglasses, do not cross until the driver waves at you. Always look both ways before you cross, even when the driver signals you to. Remember, register your bike with the police. Always wear bright clothes, a helmet that fits you, and use reflectors. Make sure your brakes work and that your bike is in good shape. Know your path to school and practice it. Always choose to ride the safe way and don't show off. Be aware of traffic and look both ways before crossing any street. Stop at all stop signs and red lights. Learn to see dangers in your path and be ready to ride around them safely. Use hand signals to let the other people on the road know what you're doing. Check around barriers and at the end of your driveway for dangers on the road. Be careful in the school parking lot and around school buses. Make sure the drivers can see you. Use crossing signals. Learn to communicate with drivers to ensure your safety and always lock up your bike at the end of your ride. We hope you've learned something today, and we hope your next bike ride will be a safe one. If you have questions about bicycle or pedestrian safety, ask your teacher, school crossing guard, or your parents for more information.